Today I show you how to connect and most important how to disconnect safely SSD drives to your iPhone. This is my Samsung T7 Shield. A bit dusty, I think. It's just cloth. This is the Samsung T7 Shield external SSD and I will show you now how to connect it and how to disconnect it from the iPhone. On the iPhone you actually don't need to do a safe eject like on Android or Windows. So first you plug in, this is USB-C, the, the SSD, the Samsung T7 Shield is USB-C and also this iPhone is the 16, iPhone 16, this is the iPhone 16 Pro Max with the USB-C cable, iPhone 15 and above they have USB-C cables. For iPhone 15 and above you have a USB-C connection, for the previous iPhones you have to use a lightning connection, but here it's very simple, USB-C cable, plug in the USB-C cable on the charging port of the iPhone, and now you should see a light on the SSD there. So you see, you know the SSD is on when the light is there, and you can go into the file manager, and in the file manager I have here, this is the T7S, that's the media transfer and there is not nothing really on this drive now. I wanted to show you that I can connect to it and I can see the information, long press on it, make sure you don't press on erase there, get info, press on get info and then you can see the information of the drive. So this is an external SSD formatted as XFAT 2TB and this is the information and if you want to open it, you can open it, you can do any file transfers here and when you're finished with the file transfers when you're finished with the file transfers make sure the light is not blinking or it's even off off is even better, the best is to be off there to be extra sure you can force close the files up so now the files up is closed and if the files are really important you also have the option where you do a power off for the iPhone, you can power off the iPhone and then disconnect just to be sure, but I don't really need to do that. I don't really need to do that in this case, then simply disconnect. And then when you reconnect it, you will have the same, it will, it will turn on the light and you can see it. You can see it here, it's gonna show there. So now the light is not blinking. When you're doing a media transfer, file transfers, it's going to be blinking there. You don't want to disconnect it while it's blinking. But when you finish the media transfer, you can close the app files up here. But I want to show you something. I want to show you how it looks like when I unplug it. So I have here this T7 shield and you see how it's going to disappear from there. So now it's gone and it's safely disconnected, there's no need to do a safe disconnect or safe eject. On iPhone it's just working, it's working directly on the drive, there is no cache, no write delays, so that's all. I hope this helps you, thanks for watching.